Hello, Deb here with Art and Grace. Hope you guys are having a good Monday. I know sometimes Mondays are not the funnest day of the week because we have to get back in the swing of work, but we hopefully have made it a good one. And if you're working today, then hopefully you're getting close to the end of your work day. So please say hi when you pop on. Let me know that you're here. I love to see who can pop on live. And of course, if you're watching a replay later, then say hashtag replay so that I can say hi to you and thank you for watching. I sure do appreciate it. I'm waiting to see if it's pulling up live for me. So that's why I'm looking down. I'm looking over here at the computer and I, it looks like I'm live. So hey, 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 y'all say hi when you pop on. Oh good, I've got Dawn. Hi, glad you're here. We were on watching Beth earlier together. There's a lot of us who are in the group Art and Craft Showcase. So we kind of watch everybody's tutorials and every time you watch somebody, you can learn something. So yeah, I'll say hi. Fixing to head home. Okay, Becky, be safe. And yes, I am just now starting. So I've already done my background because it needed to be dry for me to do the little flamingos. So, hi Nelda, how are you today? I'm glad you caught me live. Awesome. So, some of you guys probably got a text alert and I think it's so fantastic because that way you look at your phone and if you're free, you can pop on and if not, that's okay, but you know that I went live anyway, so you can always check it later. So, hopefully y'all are having a good day. You know, summer is, I mean, technically kind of on the wind down for parents because they have to start thinking about going back to school and all of that stuff. Oh no, Dawn, I'm just now popping on. And if anybody wants to know how to do this background for water, I can show you another time. Um, but this is one of the art kits that I do. So let me just paint this real quick for you and show you the process for these cute little flamingos. So I'm gonna try to be able to see the comments over here while I paint. But say hey, tell me where you're watching from too. There's a lot of you that have probably told me before, but you know, I forget. So, okay, good. I've got the comments pulled up over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've got my colors pulled out. I've got all deco art colors. You know I'm a deco art person. Everything on my wall is deco art. And um, I'll also put all the colors. If you want a tracer and the colors and all of that, then type in the comments tracer and I'll know and I'll um, get that to you. Oh, hey, okay, so I'm seeing some of them, but I don't think I'll, hi, Ann, hi, Dawn. Yeah, I said hi to you and hi, Barbara. I hope I have, I'm not missing a lot of comments, but I will go back, you know I will, because it's part of the fun is chit-chatting with you guys. So anyway, I've got, um, this is my little family, represents my little real family. So I've got a daddy, mom, and a small child here, and then a baby here. Of course, you know, this is pretend. <laughs> so you do whatever you want. But I just think it's fun. And of course, you can always print these out and let your kids paint them, or grandkids. So um, I'm trying to be conscious of that, because I know I have a lot of you grandmas on here watching, and you like to do that. So, um, so if you ever, you know, want to, you can just color in some of this with your white and then go over it, or you can just paint your colors right on. I'll show you both ways, but it looks, it looks good either way. Um, so you guys tell me how you're doing and how was your weekend? Did anybody get to do anything fun? We had um, my son and his girlfriend over, so that was always, it's always so good for me to have them over and get to visit with the whole family. And so hopefully you guys got to do something fun too. And I know a lot of people are taking vacations right now. So I'm just kind of gonna paint a few of the elements and then I'll go back and do the rest. And there are a million different ways. In fact, I probably shouldn't do the ice cubes first. I was thinking I don't wanna lose them when I paint the color in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some yellow and grab a little plate. Yeah, y'all let me know if you've had a good weekend and how the week's looking for you. Do you have big plans or anything going on this week? 
and probably a lot of y'all are in the Art and Craft Showcase. If you are, just say something below so that I know. You can put A and C or something. Um, but we're having a lot of fun in there. This is a group of, you know, hand-chosen artists that have applied, and they are so fun. These ladies, it's all ladies, and they are just super sweet, and we're having fun as always. We always end up having a good time. And right now, we're just kind of in the transition period. But starting August 1st, it is a bona fide full-time group. So beginning August 1st, we're going to have tutorials every day um, from a different artist. And it'll be crafts and art, not just art. So just so much fun. And you know, really my favorite time of the year to do art and crafts is fall and Christmas stuff. I mean, it's just there's so many options and as it gets colder we're inside more so it's a really good hobby to have to do art and so we're gonna have a lot of fun so I hope that you're in there it is free right now um, we are just working and and discussing and coming up with the best way to do this we don't want to leave anybody out we want to do this you know so that everybody can be a part so bear with us as we work out the details but go ahead and get in the group it's free and you can start enjoying because we already are you know um, going ahead and doing tutorials in there today we had a really pretty beach beach um, scene from beth radford with scribbles and paint and it was really good and it inspired me to do something beachy or you know in the pool anyway so i just decided to do this one like I said, this is one of my art kits that I offer. And so anyway, I thought I'd pop on and do one live for you guys. But I love the groups like, like that, the Art and Craft Showcase, because I my goal is for you guys to have a place that you can go to all the time and just know that if you need something, you can go in there and find it. You know, if you need something, you can even ask one of the artists if you can't find it, and they can help you. Because, you know, the whole goal of that group for all of us is to meet your needs, to give you what you guys want. And we can do that better together than just one of us. So all of us are coming together, and we are just doing our best to, to listen to what you want and then provide it. So now's the time to give us feedback. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what crafts you'd like to learn or what, um, you know, paintings you'd like to see. We are basically just adjusting it to what you guys need. So you can help us by just giving some feedback. I'm doing my little lemonade in here. I don't know how that happens where I lose my comments, but... Oh, are you, Carrie? I'm so glad. And you have made some really cute art. I love seeing you guys' art. You did, Dawn, good. I know you were being hard on yourself, but, you know, when you paint one of the designs that one of us paints, it does not have to be the exact same. That's the whole point is, you know, you're going to have a little different style than us, and you might come up with different colors even or a different little design. So, hi, Lydia. Glad you're here. So, yeah, um... You know, never feel bad. Never feel like, oh, I didn't do it like so-and-so. I mean, we don't expect you to. We want to inspire you. And if you want to do it just like us, that's great. But if not, that is perfectly fine, you know. Um, you might do you might do a version and we might think, oh, my gosh, I should have done it that way. I'm serious. So never feel like, you know, it has to be any certain way. Really, the whole point of art the type of art that I do for sure is to help you guys have fun relaxing with a hobby and try to give you some ideas that inspire you or you know if you don't love a design that you see maybe you want to like I said print it out and give it to one of your kids or grandkids or make a card out of it so kind of just keep an open mind like what can I do with this
But yes, I have been um, working on doing some inexpensive kind of Dollar Tree crafts, you know, things that you can get at the Dollar Tree and use for different ways. And it's really fun. So I can't wait to bring some of those to you guys. And if you are an artist or crafter and you have a business and you might like to present in our group, just let me know. Just send me a message or something. We are, I am looking at tutorial or looking at, you know, videos all the time to get ideas from people and see if they might want to join us. So I'm happy to look at yours and see if you think you'd want to join us. So I'm just kind of going around the glass. If you're in the pool, you need a good lemonade, don't you? And I can switch to a bigger brush here if I want to and cover more of this a little quicker. But a lot of times I just kind of continue on with the brush in my hand if I know it's not gonna take just a whole long time. It's actually raining here today, so it's starting to rain uh, right now. And so, no pool for us. Not that I have a pool, but I'm just saying it's a rainy day here, but we're hoping it clears up because we have Vacation Bible School at our church. Did any of y'all grow up going to Vacation Bible School or do you still have kids or grandkids who go? Hi, Sue. Glad you're here. An elephant head? No, Dawn, it wasn't. <laughs> And we do, we do like to give y'all tracers um, so that you can, you know, get the proportions right if you want to. So once I paint something, I can easily lay something down over it and get a tracer. If you paint everything white, so I've got my background on here, and if you paint everything white, then when you paint your pink over it, it goes a lot easier because you've got a, a white background rather than blue. And the, hey Tammy, how are you today? Glad you popped in here. How are you doing? Are you busy? I know you're, you stay busy, don't you? Sometimes I turn mine upside down to get a better angle, and I'll just kind of go right around here. Got a hair in it, little hair. So August 1st is our big kickoff and it is getting close. And you know, when August gets here, that's when kids are going back to school Teachers are going back, you know, first, of course. And at that time, we're starting to look into fall, right? So even though it may still be hot in your area, it's just time to think about fall crafts. So I'm excited. It's going to be fun. And I hope that you guys will come and check it out. Okay, so this next one, I'm going to add a little bit of white with it just to get a little lighter pink so that it looks a little different than this first one. So just added the two colors right there on the brush together. And I'm painting upside down, so give me some grace if I mess up, because, you know, I kind of like challenging myself and doing the upside down. And then this little one right here is gonna be the baby, so I'll do her in a little different color than mom. That 
That way you can tell where one ends and one begins. Oh, I did too. I, I, we, we always taught a class and um, we always decorated our rooms like big time. So we used to have a contest and like one year was jungle theme and I, you know, you have stuff hanging everywhere and oh, it was so fun. This, this VBS here at this church, we have the coolest thing and we take it to some apartments that are, you know, considered lower income and because a lot of them don't have a car or if they do have a car, it's one car to the whole family. So they, you know, they can't get around and go because our town may have a lot of churches that kids kind of hop around back and forth to, to go to VBS, but these kids aren't going to get to do that. So we take it out there to them and it's a really, really cool way to do it um, for kids that are not going to get it if we didn't do that. So I love that our youth pastor decided to, you know, think outside the box and do it that way. And it's, it's just been a, such a huge blessing to us as a church to see. And each year it grows, you know, and, and of course the same kids have been coming for a few, probably close to five years now. So the workers know the kids and they know the worker. It's really, really a, an amazing thing. So it's a, it's a cool way to do it when a town is full of churches, you know, uh, for kids to go to. Okay, so that's Mama. I'm gonna add a few streaks of darker in here just down here toward the bottom. Y'all see, okay. Hi, Debbie. Glad you're here. Hi, Carrie. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. I know, Bonnie, you haven't. How are you? Did you get your Lazy Susan painted? Oh, I know, Dawn. I mean, yeah, there's, go to the people who need it, right? And, and try to, try to, try to think outside the box. That's the best way to not always do things as they always have been, but, um, you know, don't be afraid to try something new. And of course, not everybody wanted to at first, but now I think everybody sees Wow, that was a brilliant idea because you're not just exchanging church kids the whole summer. You're reaching kids who don't get that opportunity. So it's been great. And I got to see, ran into my beloved caregiver. She was one of the ones who took care of my mom so well. She had a few that we had issues with, but this lady, Rebecca, was precious and so, um, what's the word, attentive, and she knew. She knew my mom. She knew when something wasn't right, and so it was great to see her. Now, for the beak of the bird, you could do it any color, really. I probably will do a little bit of, like a, this is like a cream color, and this is called buttermilk. So it's, you could do, I don't really know. I think this might be white on these birds, but I just am gonna do this little cream color for something different. I just ordered me a bunch of new deco art paint because Michael's, I don't know if they still do today, but yesterday I needed a few. So I got online they had them for $1.35 a bottle. And that is so cheap. Like really, really a great price. So when I saw that, I like ordered everything that I could possibly need because you can't beat that price. So yeah, if y'all need any deco art paint, I would go look at Michael's and see if they have it on sale today and order what they have. Cause you know, they run out pretty fast 
online because some people will buy, you know, a gazillion of each color. And nothing wrong with that because it's a great price. I'll look at comments in one second, guys. A lot of this is, this is pretty small detail, you know? And so I am trying to not take four hours. I'm just gonna try to take a short time. And like I said, I can, I can easily do a little tutorial for this background. This is a pool, so they're in the pool. If you can tell. Okay, let me see if I've missed any comments. I'm sure I have. <gasps> Loretta, how are you, Loretta? I haven't seen you in a while, and I haven't seen Chrissy either. Glad you popped on. Good, yeah. Oh, guys, you know what? That reminds me. I just saw the stars comment. We have got to do the giveaway because I raised my goal of 5,000 stars. And so I need to do this giveaway. Y'all see okay? Keep moving away from the... Y'all wanna tell me what color the hat should be? I have lime, lime green out, but we could do it any other color. Y'all can just give me a, give me a color. And I'm gonna do this straw here. So anyway, I guess I started talking about the rain and I'm wondering what we'll do if it keeps raining. I don't know. Because it's outside. Our VBS is outside. We last night had a big bounce house and you know, we serve hot dogs and chips and stuff and popsicles. And then tonight we're serving Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A was kind enough enough to give us donations. And so, the kids were happy when they heard that. They were really happy. And it's definitely helping the moms. You know, the moms love that too. We feed everybody. And y'all, we're just a small church. We are a very small church. So never feel like, what can I do? If you wanna do something, do some good, do it. Because when several of you come together, hi, Chrissy, I'm so glad you popped in. I miss you. No, uh, no covered area, Tamara. How are you feeling, girl? Um, we, we actually, I'll take that back. There is like a, a one little cover over, you know, just over a small amount. So the food was under that. So yeah, it, I don't, it's got to clear up. <laughs> it's got to clear up. So for these ice cubes, I'm doing um, I'm doing them in white, but then I'm gonna kind of wipe some away. I guess I could use a baby wipe, not my finger. Oh, oh, they did, Bonnie. So I remember you taking care of that gentleman. So. Do you think you'll do the, the next one? It's so hard to lose people, but 
when you watch them suffer, you understand that, you know, they don't, they don't want to live that way. They really don't. Um, it's just, it's just hard for everybody. So I'm just watering down my white to give the illusion of these ice cubes. And then I think I'm going to do my jar. I need to paint that. Um, I could do, let's see, a little bit of this darker color maybe. Let me try. I just like to grab whatever colors I have handy because this is a fun, whimsical painting. It does obviously does not need to, you don't need to stress about it. it. It can be just fun and whimsical. And then I'll add a little black and do a little bit of gray. Bonnie, do you have any other clients right now or do you think you'll do that? Thank you. I did not, Terry, but I said I would be happy to. Um, I didn't because I knew it would take too long to do that, let it dry, and then do the flamingos. But I can tell you, and I can also do a quick tutorial. It's really, in fact, at the end of this one, I'll just do, I'll just go in and, and do one on another because it's really a super easy way to get pool water. I just mixed a little black and white to make a gray for this rim. And I ran it kind of over that greenish color and pull a little bit of that into the rim, so. And it didn't bring a lot, so I'm going to add a little more on my brush and try to bring some of this green in here. Okay. Let me show you that up close. I know, Tamara, I thought it was going to be so hard. Um... And I know it, you probably can't sleep. I mean, it, you probably wish you could, but you probably can't. It is dawn. Um, it, yeah, it's stormy here. I mean, it's, I guess not stormy per se, but did we come up with a color for the hat? What would y'all like to see the hat? I could do yellow. Um, oh, okay, Sue. So, let's see. Oh, really, Bonnie? That may be a God thing then. Yes, absolutely. Just, yeah, check it out and see. So the hat, we could do yellow, orange, um, any color, any color at all. I'm going to go ahead and start painting the baby, and I'm going to do a lighter color for her. So I'm going to go into a little lighter pink and some white. y'all ever tried painting upside down? It's, it's not all that hard. <laughs> I've done it so, lime green hat and purple, orange or green. Uh, Terry says with a purple or teal ribbon, yes. And 
And if you guys haven't, put in the comments if you're a part of the Art and Craft Showcase. Like if you're in that group, it is free. We're still working on all the details of it. It kicks off August 1st, but right now we're still going ahead and giving free tutorials. So get in there if you're not. Um, it's just a lot of fun and really sweet people, sweet presenters and the greatest, uh, the thing I love is everybody's goal is to give you guys what you need and, you know, of course, everybody needs to make money and everything, but, but s some of these artists are the most generous people. They really want to know what you guys are wanting. They want to provide that for you. Um, they just really enjoy sharing what they do and... So since you guys watch us, they, you know, we all have this desire to give back and give you whatever it is you're looking for so that you don't have to always be searching. You can have a kind of a go-to place. And if we don't have it already, we'll do it for you. And that's really great. So we've got some really fantastic presenters who wanted to be a part. And of course, we'll continue to add because we don't have... 30 days worth yet. So right now, uh, a lot of us will get to go a couple of times during the month until we do. It's not, you know, we are making sure that um, the presenters have that same mindset of giving and helping and that they understand what we're all about so that we get, you know, a really great team in here. But if you missed what I said earlier, if you're interested, maybe you do have a business and you're interested, then just holler at me. Just send me a message. And I would love to talk about it. So if you want to add some dimension in here with yours, you can just put another second color on your brush while you're painting. So... I'm gonna dip into just a tiny bit of black and we'll darken this up a little. And just kind of come across here at the bottom, that darker color, and just kind of blend it in. So I don't want him to, I want you to know that that's him right up next to his mom. So we may have to lighten her up a little or something so that you see the difference. Or we could light up, lighten up his head a little bit and that would do the trick too. just so you can tell where one ends and the other begins. But you know, you could do as many, like if you're, if you wanna do this and hang this out on your back porch, on your patio, just do a good sealer um, on top of it and it'll be fine out there for the summer. You know, you'll, it's not gonna last for years and years, but if it's on a covered porch, you could do that and it'd be cute out there. Um, and just maybe do one for each person in your family or something. I think that'd be super cute. But these are cute anywhere. You could put this in a cute little bathroom, a guest bathroom or a guest room, anywhere. Entryway. This would also be cute on a garden flag. Okay, so let's see.
just kind of lightening this up a little. I mean, not lightening. I wanted to kind of blend a little bit. Have some contrast in her. I don't like solid colors. I like to have a little either light or dark added in so they're not just flat. Okay, love you, Bonnie. Sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Loretta. Um, she is in England, I believe. So, yeah, the time is totally different for her. Okay, let's do the hat. Let's see. What did we decide? Okay, Tamara, no problem. Oh, man. Y'all, I have a lot of comments, but... Even on my laptop, they're not showing. Only just the last bunch is. So I'm just going to go for it and do probably lime green. That's what I have sitting out here. So I'll just do the lime green. Of course, when you paint this, do whatever you want. You can add a little white to it. If it's a little translucent, you can add a little white. and then I'll go back over it. I haven't been to a beach in a very long time. It's way long time. What is the best beach y'all have been to? I know a lot of people that say Florida. There's some, some in Florida that are just beautiful. Um, let's see, what's the one, Destin, and there was another one, I can't remember the name of, that I've heard a lot of people say is great. I've been to Cozumel one time, it was beautiful, it's been a long time though, so I don't know what it's like now. But I don't think I'd be too picky. I think I'd go to just about any beach at this point. They're just relaxing. I'll let that little bit dry a little bit. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Linda. You guys that sprinkle for us, I can't tell you thank you enough. I really can't. It is so very helpful especially when we don't get to go live as many as much as we'd like to with me running this other group and I've got my private membership I do not get to go live as much as I want to so we get kind of punished when we don't so thank you for doing that thank you for the sprinkles it really really does help it lets Facebook know you know okay we'll give her another try you know because they want us to go live a lot and I want to, I enjoy so much getting to talk with y'all and, you know, it's just fun. And if anybody wants this tracer when I'm done, I will get, just put in the comments, tracer. Okay. Sarasota, Day yes, Daytona Beach. There's another one. Um, gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Sarasota. So, y'all. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Thank you, thank you. And anybody else who has, I'll see it in just a second. Oh, for the middle part, I'm going to do that like a darker color probably. Because that's, you know, that's the part where you would normally sit in. I guess some of them are open for you to come through, but I was picturing these as the ones you sit in. So you could leave open if you want to, but this little girl's sitting in her mama's lap.
I always think these are good things for your kids to do. So if you're painting one, print out the tracer for your kids and let them color, marker, whatever they wanna do with it. I think I'm going to add a little darkness to that one too right there. So I'm not being as careful as you guys will be because I'm upside down, so it's a little rough. But you get the idea. We'll go in and do their beaks. These brushes I'm using are my favorite. They for y'all that don't know me or don't normally paint with me, they have this fantastic handle that's kind of flat on each side. So it you just, your hand grips it so well. And I just use them all the time. And then when they get to where they're not, you know, working as good, then I order a new set. They're only like 10 bucks, maybe 15. I've kind of forgotten, but so they're not expensive because you get a lot of brushes. It comes with a lot of different sizes. So, okay so all these are in one set plus I have a few bigger ones so you can see you get a really good variety for those it might be 15 so that's another thing if you want to know about those let me know and I'll get you what I order I have a lot of people who have painted with me that have ordered them and love them too. I've not heard anybody say they don't love them. And I'm not an affiliate. I don't get anything. Um, I am an affiliate with Michaels, but I don't even hardly ever share that. I just don't think about it to be honest, but I'm not for deco art or for um, the brushes. I just, like to share what I like. So I kind of messed up that bead, but I'm going to go with it. Oh, thanks, Becky. Okay, Carrie, I'll get you one. Thank you, Janet. I get the brushes on Amazon. Um, so it, it's in my, you know, like in my history, I can easily get y'all the, the link if you want it. I'll go over that hat again because it looks Is that about where? I'm trying to think where the eye goes. I always like to make sure I'm still on camera. Somebody holler if I go off. I've been known to do it. And I want to give dad some sunglasses. So I see that I missed part of his head. So let me go in here and add that back in. I just decided if we're gonna do summer, we better get with it because fall stuff is coming. 
And I know y'all have probably already seen it everywhere you go, like Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, they've all, you know, they've got Christmas out at Dollar Tree. I mean, Hobby Lobby, sorry. I don't know if Dollar Tree does or not. But for people who like to do art or crafts, you gotta do it ahead. You know, you can't wait till the last minute, so. The good thing also about the Art and Craft Showcase is if it's November and you wanna do a flamingo with maybe a Christmas tree in the background, you can get in that group and find this, you know, or any of the tutorials and, um, you know, make them your own. So, kind of part of my mission is to make it, you know, like a go-to place for y'all so that you don't have to search everywhere. It gets overwhelming looking at all the different places for things and you might have seen something cute but you can't remember where you saw it. So we want to be that go-to place for y'all. Okay, so sunglasses. Oh, thank you. Is it Rula? R-O-U-L-A. Rula, maybe? Sorry if I'm not saying it right. Oh, Dawn, you're awesome. Thank you. Y'all are the ones that make us, you know, that inspire us and make us want to give more because y'all are so awesome and support us and, you know, share our videos and show up when we're live. We really do appreciate it. And I know I look like I have a steady hand, but it's because I brace it. So my arm is braced on my table and then I, my hand is braced on this canvas. So you kind of have to have some of those tricks. So it's not that I'm steady as much as I just know how to brace myself. to get a more steady hand. Okay, I hope that looks like a sunglass. And then I'm gonna do the, the inner part. Y'all, my hair's driving me crazy. I'm just kind of pulling it behind my ear. Um, when it's humid like this, it, it doesn't do what I ask it to, so. So for his little sunglass, I'll do a little gray. Now dad has sunglasses on. Or it could be goggles. I guess it could be goggles, couldn't it? I am gonna go back over this hat. I know I'm really taking way too long because I'm just I'm just going slow because I'm relaxed. You could even add flowers to the hat or stripes or anything. Oh, let's do the straw. So the straw, I will put, hmm. Let's do some stripes on it and maybe, let's see, we'll do some blue. This is a just a primary blue. I'm seriously craving lemonade since I've been painting this. Y'all, thanks for hanging with me. I can see I've lost a lot of people because I'm so slow. Hi, Molly. Good to see you. How are you? Excuse me while I take a drink here. 
Um, so I'm going to just go into this really pretty uh, blue and stripe this straw. Let's do some stripes. I decided to try to make them a little thicker. I want that blue to show up good. This is what happens when I paint, y'all. I just get really relaxed and I take my time. And it could be something as silly as this and I'm just having a blast and Totally forget my troubles for a while. And that's how I started doing this was, um, you know, my mom had Alzheimer's and it was very stressful and I was working full time and um, I needed, you know, to find a way to make time for myself. And if you've ever been in that caregiving role, it's really, really hard. You just almost don't take time for yourself. But things will really get overwhelming and too much to handle. So you've got to find a way to make some time for yourself. So fun art was my thing. And, and I just love helping other people find it as well. So what do y'all think of that straw? Do you like it? I might, I might line it, but I'm going to let that dry. We could add a pretty flower. I know this is going to start looking like Easter if I'm not careful, but um, If you are leaving me a comment, I appreciate it and I will read it as soon as I'm done. I just, these are little tiny areas that you have to pay attention. You can't be looking off. But I do love reading them because it's just fun to talk to you guys and interact. So, okay, so I got a little flower on her hat. I still want this darker where the, and then that will be the last thing, so. I'm adding a little bit of this bright blue to this fuchsia. So it's gonna be almost a little purpley, but that will give me the darkness I want for that middle. Oh, thank you, Dawn. Dad needs a ball. Oh, fun, Molly. <gasps> How fun. Oh my gosh, we can help you come up with ideas. That is going to be a blast. Yes. You could even, you know, book one of us, anybody, I'm sure everybody would love to do it, and have your own girls paint party just led by one of the instructors, or you might want to lead your own. I don't know, but yeah, that's fun. I think it's cute, his little glass. It's just sitting in the middle of his belly or whatever you call it. So that gives you an idea, right? You can you can definitely, there's plenty of room. I might put a beach ball here. I'll probably do that off camera and then show it to you and see what you think and give you the tracer if you want it just 
type in the comments tracer. And um, what else can I do for y'all? Do you need anything else? Let me know. Oh, brushes. If you type brushes or, um, you know, anything, then I will let y'all have the links and whatever. Hi, Marty. You've had a busy day, haven't you? Oh, cool. Your niece turned 21. Oh, you're going to be the cool aunt. Thanks, Carrie. Tracer, Marty. Okay. This would be cute as a card. You know, I was saying, Marty, earlier that summer is just, you know, for us crafters and artists, it's kind of winding down because we're already thinking of fall and Christmas. And so if you need a tracer or, you know, let us know. Um, and it won't be long before we're teaching fall stuff. Somebody gave a mad face. Uh-oh. Yes, I'll get y'all tracers. Hopefully the mad face was an accident. I don't know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for showing up and um, hanging with me. This was kind of a long one for what it was. I just, you know, took my time and I appreciate y'all hanging with me. And, oh, thanks for the hearts too. That's always nice. Um, if I can ever do anything for you, let me know. I hope you're in the Art, Art and Craft Showcase with us. We're having fun, and it's really kicking off August 1st. So, you guys, um, if you're not in there, get in there. You can, If you don't know what I'm talking about, just ask me, and I will get you a link to that. So, thank y'all. Have a good afternoon and a good night tonight. See y'all later. Bye.